Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron and we're still in the Throne of Ball expansion. And we just rested. Okay. Apparently that is a new area. Although I'm not really comfortable with the new area though. Because um there is that other area too. So this time we use this one. Done. Let's use that here now. Exactly. Let's explore that first. As you ask. Within the dragon's eye, you see a look of great surprise as if the beast were in unfathomable pain. It opens its jaws and speaks in s in its strangely unnatural voice. You are the stench of the ball spot. <coughs> the same stench as a Bazigal, though he tries to hide it behind the more palatable scent of his wormkind heritage. Perhaps you have the power to break a basical spell ball spawn. You have the scroll of reversal. I feel its power. Free me from my bondage. Huh? I I would free the dragon actually without a reward. But I don't have that option. What is my reward if I release you from the GS? I will give you the wardstone to pass. You can kill a basical. Very well, I shall free you. Read the scroll. With the GS spoken, the dragon's glazed eyes clear. Its mighty voice rings out through the cavern, sure and strong. The enchantment is broken. I am free from accursed servitude to that bastard half-breed. Free to leave this place and never return. Ah, uh, you promised to give me the wardstone to pass the gate, remember? You are a fool, puny human. Uh, well, it's green, <laughs> like the hawk. To bargain with the dragon, we care little for promises made to the likes of you. But you are in luck, tiny man. A Basigil must pay for what he did to me, and I am not eager to allow myself to fall victim to his snares once more. Therefore, I will honor our agreement and give you the wardstone before I leave this vile place. May you extract unholy vengeance on the mongrel's half breeds head okay careful there's an exit here okay I don't want to leave yet so apparently that's the way where we have to go and that other was the side way I thought it was the other way around but then again how could I know Okay, where was the pool where I came from? This one. A lot of diving in these videos can't be helped. It shall be. Was it this one? I think it was this one. That's probably where we sent those uh, amateur adventurers to. Consider it done. Yeah. 
Okay. I wonder how they um, dealt with those elder orbs. I mean, that's rather weird. They should be much too weak to deal with those. Wait, that's it? There's nothing else here? Apparently. Okay. <coughs> yes, I wish to. So the question is, do we buff before we enter a bag a layer? I just call him A. A's layer or uh, do we buff after we enter it? Because I don't wanna, you know, summon a few monsters and then they won't follow me or something like that. I don't wanna have want that to happen again. Okay. It shall be. Shit, retreat. Oh, my. A dangerous mistake. Okay. Feel the backhand. I shall not yield to you. Let's lay all those first. I don't wanna talk to the dragon. First, kill his friends. You asked for it. Fear. I approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. The good Welcome. has been upheld. I have watched your save your those insolent words shall be yeah, your yeah, last. yeah 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 okay so uh, he obviously talks to you once you come too close mm-hmm good to know it shall be fall creature and feed the earth uh, with vengeance uh, 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 Okay, so we form up here. And then we do the, our buffing here. A den of stinking evil. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. Yes. Um, four, three, four, okay. What is that here? A basicals wardstone, okay. Okay. Let's do some buffing.
This will take a while, as always. But then again, you remember the battle with his son, I'm sure. So you should know that we can't fight him unprepared. I mean, if his son was that tough, I'm sure the old man is even tougher. So we have two bars. Can't be helped. I'll help however I can. And blur. Yep. Nature's servant awaits. Arm of faith. Thank you. Mirror image. <coughs> Mirror image. Mirror image. I await your need. Iron skins. Armor of faith. Okay. Now we should start to cast a few. Uh, to summon a few monsters. I stand ready. First of all, we summon um, Diva. Here. Yeah. You summon. Um, a Ginny? Here. You. Summon Where is it? Fire elemental here and you my friend summon a Morton Cane and Sword. Okay. So now that we did that, you cast a haste. You what do you want? No, you cast. A defensive harmony. Come on, Eric, what happened to you? You're still mental combat. Okay, you won. That means now you cast the protection from evil. Manus, and the chant. Yes. And the mass invisibility. Okay, thank you. Safe. Here comes the fun part. Consider it done. Welcome. I have watched your progress with great interest. For a lesser creature, you are quite amusing. Hmm. Hope you're amused when I progress my blade through your heart, Abessigil. Save your taunts. 
You are not worthy of having Paul's blood within you. Only a dragon is worthy of containing the Lord of Murder's immortal essence. Hmm. A dragon? From what I hear, you're nothing but a mongrel half-breed. Those insolent words shall be your last! We shall see. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Oh, I'll show you a fight. Um, what kind of bullets are you using? Yeah, that's cool. What is my task? Near death. He will turn into a dragon soon. You will fall yet. Apparently not. Great, everybody got pushed away. Where Minsk goes, evil stands a Damn it. That's a big one. Evil cannot be allowed to fester. I shall not Well, that doesn't seem to be no, that difficult. It cannot be the grand flames of my existence snuffed out by this pathetic fool. But know this your victory is flawed. Know this even as I die, fool. You have been used and misled. Witness the truth to which you have been so blind. Well, he's dead. That was rather easy. His son was more difficult. So, my son, you have returned to my monastery. Okay, I didn't read that, it was too fast. <laughs> and again we die. I greet you once again, Godchild. You near the final stage of your destiny. All will become most complicated very soon. Okay. Complicated. I like complicated. So we've lost our genie and our magical sword. Apparently, everybody got 4,000 quest experience and 40,000 quest experience for killing a Bazigal. Keldorn actually did it. It was not a, uh, that battle was not as difficult as I thought it would be. Oh well. So. <coughs> Well, I only hope I will be able to hold on to what is good and righteous. We shall see. You have fought against brother and sister in recent days. Fought and prevailed as they arrayed their forces against you. You have done well. The most powerful children of Baal gathered themselves together years ago. You know them as the Five. Together, they hoped their power would destroy all others of their kind. But what you do not know is why. What purpose your siblings have for their actions. You may suspect, but hear the truth from the lips of one you have murdered. I didn't murder anyone. It was a fair fight. Why? Why am I cold? Why is young Ashura disturbed? You shall explain the truth of your actions, spirit, to the one that killed you. <laughs> If I was killed by that one, then I don't owe nobody nothing. You shall answer our questions of the Five. The Five, huh? Hmm. Yagashura owes them all right. Sure, 
I speak? I was approached when I was still at the temple, still being taught the powers of Ball by the old witch. The greatest of all the Ballspawn were joining forces, I was told. We will defeat all others before us. Yagashura didn't trust the others. Figured sooner or later the Ballspawn would turn on each other. Figured I was stronger than the rest of them, maybe. But not all of them together. So I joined, raised an army of men, and slaughtered all the Ballspawn we could, waiting for enough of the essence to collect in the Abyss. For Ball, the dead god, and your father to be resurrected as he had planned before his death. And we would be his right hands, all five of us. That's what we were promised. We would live as demigods, ruling Faerun with our power. <laughs> it was worth taking a chance for, Yagashura thinks. So the five sought to resurrect your father and become demigods. What does this mean to you, Godchild? It means that their plan is defeated. Baal will remain where he is, dead. <laughs> You are a fool to think the Five are defeated now. Of all of Baal's children, who do you think possessed the most of his essence? You, certainly. But we Five as well. How many of the Five have you killed? Myself? Elisera? Probably Abazigon? And Sendai too? That is a lot of Baal's essence. And still one Baal spawn remaining. Baltazar. Yes. Balthazar, if anything, fool, you have stirred Ball in his slumber. He is closer now to awakening than ever before. The last of the five yet remains, Godchild, and your father stirs. What will you do? Hmm. If I can kill Balthasar before he raises Ball, I'd prefer not to deal with my so-called father at all. Then continue on your path, Godchild. I shall see you soon enough. And another passage opens. Now what? I hope this is not a sign of things to come. We must strive to maintain balance. Okay, so the dragon is still dead. There are a few salamanders. That should not be too difficult. Victory! I will do my best. What combat? Oh well, whatever. Start looting. What do we get here? Flail had electric. Ah, for the Flail of Ages, okay, I get it. Um, blue Dragon Scales and Gram the Sword of Grief plus 5. This is one of the many weapons of the great hero Siegfried. Siegfried the Dragon Slayer. The blade is particularly sharp and well balanced, and in a certain light, one can see the faint image of a serpent within the hilt. Yeah, Siegfried. There's a plus five weapon, it's a two handed plus five weapon, okay. Great. So, well, what now? Can we loot anything here? Doesn't look like it. Oops, did you see that? <laughs> I clicked outside the window. Yeah, okay. Dungeon exit says here. So we use that. Boom. Oh, hi. Greetings, old friend. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Elminster? Oh, so you do know who I am now. I must admit, you've changed more than a little since the last time we met, before you were straddling the world with your power, so to speak. 
Hmm, why are you here now? You've been watching my progress, I suppose. Watching your progress? <coughs> well, not as much as I likely should have. I wish I had known long ago that Garion would be right. I would have done more than just warn you about your destiny, I think. Have you any idea of the havoc the Baal spawn have caused up and down the coast? The havoc you've caused personally? No, I don't suppose you have. Not that it's entirely your fault. We Harpers have been working tirelessly for weeks now to prevent the panic from reaching a boiling point. Not a simple task. As I understand it, though, your quest is nearly at an end, correct? I think so. I have to leave again soon, so I can't help you much. But I can help you a little, whether you like it or not. It's important that this all ends soon. But that doesn't mean I won't lift a finger over it. So how can you help me then? Balthazar is known to me. His monastery is sealed up tight with powerful magic. Where he gets it from, I don't know. But you're going to have to get inside, obviously, or he'll ambush you eventually. I know it may not be pleasant to contemplate, but the rogue Samenavarian holds the key to entering the monastery. He is once again with the M. Catherine smugglers at the moment. As I understand it, Tavarian has been into the monastery several times up until now. He may be able to help you once again if you are willing to look for his aid. There may be another way in, but you'll have to find it on your own. Now, I must go. From this point on, attaining your destiny is completely your own affair. I wish you well. Thank you. You might have joined my party. I mean, you're a powerful mage. You could have been useful. Okay. I think it's time to return to our dimension. <coughs> yes. And talk to Caspiner again. He was somewhere to the right. Hey, stop it. Why don't you have your aura around you? Hindo's doom. Can you say it? Hindo's doom. Hindo's doom. Yes, I can say it. Anyway, since you has Hindo's hand, I can add it into Hindo's doom with five thousand gold. Good resistances. Nice recipe. You want? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now, that's Aspinard. Gladly, sir. Ooh, you have. I. Ooh, I. Ooh, I. Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Ouch. Ooh, wrong head. Ooh, you got four heads and I can add the final head. Real sugar, that one. Sugar, not sugar. Five thousand gold and I'll do it, okay? You won't? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Hands back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now Saspinar goes Saspinar gladly. Ooh, you have I can. Ooh, I can. Ooh, I. Ooh. Ugh. What is bad smell? You've been killing dragons. Oh, it's blue dragon scale. Stinky. I make good plate armor though. Very light. Very shiny. Five thousand gold. You want? Sure. Go ahead. Okay, stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now, Sas Saspinar, you have. I, ooh, I, ooh, I, what got we here? A book? It's good bedtime readings, maybe. Oh, it's Tom of Golems. Yeah, boring. You have a juggernaut golem page which makes tome better, oh yes! Just uses 15,000 gold! Holy fuck! And then you can mix all juggernaut golems you want, in fact! Scary! Sure, go ahead. Okay! Stand back then! Never used this recipe before! Could be messy! Enjoy! Now, Sus 
Okay, that's it. So, uh, with the final page of the manual restored, the full scope of the enchantments within the manual of Golem can be unleashed. The user must have a minimum intelligence of 16 to understand the contents of the tome. Cast Juggernaut once per day. This spell causes an iron golem to appear at the caster's side for 10 rounds. The golem serves two purposes. First, it will attack any enemies it can see. Second, the golem will act as a magical shield for the wizard, absorbing all melee damage inflicted on the caster up to 5 blows. If the caster struck 5 times, the golem is dispelled. Hit only with plus 2 and better weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fists act as plus 2 weapons. That's pretty shitty. But it's a meat shield, okay. May distract a few enemies. And the Flail of Ages plus 5 now. Very well. Blue Dragon Plate, Armor Class, minus 1. 90% resistance to all lightning and electrical attacks. That's not bad, but we have better Armor Class. Hinders Doom. Plus four. Reunited with the hand of its original owner, Hindus Doom is a katana worthy of the greatest of samurai. Hmm. Yeah, it's better than a Celestial Fury, I guess. But you're not using it. <laughs> oh well. Okay, and I don't think we need that stuff anymore. Okay, so there has been a new passage, or there's a, s a, a last passage that's still here, though. But we have been in here. We have been in here. We have been in here. And the next video, we're gonna go in here. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.